Hello and welcome to Mindful Chair Yoga. This is a chair-based yoga practice that emphasizes mindful awareness of body sensations. Mindful awareness or mindfulness is the process or skill of paying attention to present moment experience with an attitude of curiosity and acceptance. So throughout this practice, you will be cued or instructed to bring a curious and non-judgmental attention to the sensations in your body. Keep in mind that everyone's bodies are different, and it is important to honor your body and its limits. Now when you are ready, let's begin. Come to the front edge of your seat and establish yourself in a comfortable sitting position. If you have any lower back pain, you could sit back in your chair, but try to keep your spine upright throughout the practice. Now sit up tall with a straight back, but without being too stiff or rigid. Have your feet flat on the floor, about hips width apart, and have your ankles directly under your knees. We can call this seated mountain pose. This will be our home base pose that we will come back to in between different stretches and movements. For this next series of movements, we will hug our knees towards our chest one at a time. Begin in your seated mountain pose with your hands on your lap. Breathe in and hug your right knee towards your chest with your hands holding onto your knee. Breathe out as you rest your right foot back on the floor. Breathe in and hug your left knee towards your chest. Breathe out and rest your left foot back on the floor. Let's repeat this process. Breathe in and hug your right knee to your chest. Breathe out and lower the leg to the floor with awareness. Breathe in and hug your left knee to your chest. Breathe out and lower the leg to the floor with awareness. Continue this at your own pace for a little bit. Alternating from leg to leg, linking your movement with your breathing. Now, bring everything to a pause and rest in seated mountain pose, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. This time, as you breathe in, hug your right knee towards your chest and keep it there. Take a few moments to just breathe into the stretch. Maintain your current position and begin slowly rotating your right ankle in circles with awareness. Try rotating your ankle in both directions. Now, on your next exhale, Slowly and with awareness, lower the right foot to the ground as you return to seated mountain pose. Take a moment to observe the sensations in your right hip, right upper leg, and your right ankle. Now, let's try the other side. As you breathe in, hug your left knee towards your chest and keep it there. As we did before, take a few moments to just breathe into the stretch. Now, as we did before, rotating your left ankle in circles with awareness. Breathing into the ankle joint, feeling into any sensations of opening, stretching, or releasing. Try both directions if you would like. Now, on your next exhale, slowly and with awareness, lower the left foot to the ground as you return to seated mountain pose. 
Take a moment to rest in your chair and bring your awareness to any lingering sensations from the movements you have just done. As you rest here, remember that throughout this practice, it is perfectly normal for your mind to wander and for thoughts and emotions to arise. Each time you become aware of thoughts and emotions, acknowledging them, letting them be, and then gently bringing your attention back to the sensations in your body as you engage in various stretches and postures. Let's try a posture to stretch our legs. Begin in seated mountain pose and extend your right leg forward so that your right leg is straight and your heels on the ground with your toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale where you are and as you exhale slowly lean your upper body forward with a straight back until you feel a stretch in your right leg. Lean forward only to a degree that is comfortable for you. Feel into the sensations of stretching in your leg. On each out breath, leaning forward just a little bit more if it's comfortable. Finding a position for yourself that is challenging but not strenuous. Reaching towards your limits but never beyond them. Relax your shoulders and neck and breathe naturally in this pose. Gradually come out of the pose and return to seated mountain pose. Let's try the other side. Extend your left leg forward so that your left leg is straight and your heels on the ground with your toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale where you are and as you exhale slowly lean your upper body forward with a straight back until you feel a stretch in your leg. Lean forward only to a degree that is comfortable for you. Feel into the sensations of stretching in this leg. And just notice how this side compares to the other. On each out breath, leaning forward just a little bit more if it's comfortable. And as we did before, finding a position for yourself that is challenging but not strenuous finding a balance between effort and surrender. Relax the muscles in your shoulder and neck and breathe naturally in this pose. Gradually come out of the pose and return to seated mountain pose. Take a moment to rest and feel into the sensations in your Let's try a posture called boat pose. Come to rest fully against the back of your chair. Now hold on to either the sides of the seat of your chair or the arms of the chair if your chair has arms. Raise both of your feet out in front of you by straightening your legs. Have your legs and feet together. In this position, it can help to tighten your abs slightly by reaching your belly button back towards your spine in order to help hold your legs up. Feel all the muscles that are working that allow you to be in this position. Perhaps you feel a slight burning sensation in your thighs. Now, Lower your legs down slowly and rest. When you are ready, come back to boat pose again by holding onto the sides of the chair and raising your legs and feet together out in front of you. As you breathe in, point both of your feet and toes away from you. Breathing out, flex your feet and toes towards you. Breathe in and point. Breathe out and flex. Breathe in and point. Breathe out and flex. Continue this series of motion at your own pace, coordinating your movement with your breathing.
and now let everything go and rest your feet on the floor. Take a deep breath in your nose. Now breathe out and completely relax the muscles in your thighs, calves, ankles, feet, and toes. Let's try a gentle forward bend to stretch our backs. Begin in seat and mountain pose, but now bring your feet and legs a little closer than hips width apart. Have both of your feet flat on the floor, and when you are ready, slowly hinge forward, bending your upper body forward towards your legs. Allow your arms to hang down in front of you. Only bend as far as is comfortable for you. If it feels okay for you, let your upper body rest against your legs. Breathe naturally here, feeling the stretch in your lower back. When you are ready, slowly come back up to an upright position. Take a moment to just rest in seated mountain pose. Observe how your body feels after doing this forward fold. This next posture is called tree pose. Begin in seated mountain pose, and when you are ready, cross your right leg over your left leg by placing the outside of your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Imagine you are a tree and your arms are branches. Now, reach your arms and stretch your upper body towards the ceiling. Relax the muscles in your face and neck and breathe naturally in this pose. Begin to wiggle your fingers like they are little branches blowing in the wind. And now imagine a gentle but strong gust of wind is blowing by as you sway your arms from side to side in any way you choose. Having fun with this, being creative, feel your branches blowing in the wind and feel the sensations in your body as you do this. Now, Imagine that the wind stops all of a sudden as you freeze in your current position. Pause for a moment and just notice what your tree and your branches look and feel like in this position. And on your next exhale, letting everything go and coming back to seated mountain pose to rest for a few moments. Let's try the other side. Cross your left leg over your right leg by placing the outside of your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Once again, imagine you are a tree and your arms are branches. Stretch your arms and your upper body towards the ceiling. Relax the muscles in your face and neck and breathe naturally. Beginning to wiggle your fingers like they are little branches blowing in the wind. And now imagining a gentle but strong gust of wind is blowing by once again as you sway your arms side to side in any way you choose. Being creative, having fun, and letting your body move in a way that feels right to you. Feel the sensations in your body as you do this. And now once again, imagine that the wind stops all of a sudden as you freeze in your current position. Pause for a moment and just notice what your tree and your branches look like and feel like. And on your next exhale, letting everything go and coming back to seated mountain pose. Taking a moment to just feel into the sensations in your body. This next pose is called victory pose. Begin in seated mountain pose. From here, bring your legs and feet away from each other so your legs are more than hips width apart. Have your feet flat on the floor with your toes on each foot pointed outward slightly at a 45 degree angle. Only move your legs out to a degree that is comfortable. You should feel a gentle stretch in your hips. Now, 
As you breathe in, raise your arms in front of you and up towards the ceiling with your palms facing each other. As you exhale, bring your arms into a T position with your arms bent at a 90 degree angle and your palms facing forward. This is victory pose. Feel yourself tall, strong, and confident in this pose. And when you are ready, taking five deep breaths in this pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Continue at your own pace until you have done five deep breaths. And gently coming out of the pose and back to seated mountain pose. Notice how you feel overall after doing this victory pose. Stay in mountain pose for a few more moments, sitting up tall, proud, and strong. Take one more deep breath here, in and out. Let's try stretching our upper legs and hips. Begin in seated mountain pose, and when you are ready, cross your right leg over your left leg by placing the outside of your right ankle on top of your left thigh. With your hands, you can hold onto the leg that is bent. When you are ready, inhale in place, and as you exhale, slowly lean your torso forward, keeping your back relatively straight. Lean forward only to a degree that is comfortable for you. Observe where you feel the stretch in your body and noting any sensations that arise in this pose. On each out breath, you can try leaning forward just a little more if that's comfortable. Finding a position for yourself that is challenging but not strenuous. Reaching towards your limits but never beyond them. Relax your shoulders and neck and breathe naturally in this pose. Gradually come out of the pose and return your right leg to the ground. Let's try the other side. Cross your left leg over your right leg by placing the outside of your left ankle on top of your right thigh. With your hand, you can hold onto the leg that is bent. Inhale in place, and as you exhale, slowly lean your torso forward, keeping your back relatively straight. As you did before, finding a position for yourself that is challenging, but not strenuous. Relax your shoulders and neck, and breathe naturally. Let's continue holding the stretch for a few more moments, breathing and feeling into the stretch. And now when you are ready, gradually come out of the pose and return your left leg to the ground. Take a moment to gently shake out both of your legs by moving them quickly side to side in small motions. Do this for a few more seconds. Now pause, closing your eyes if you wish, and feeling into the vibrations and sensations in your legs as you rest in seated mountain pose. Just as we move in this practice, it is also important to stop and be still. So we will now come into a final relaxation. This technique is called a body scan. When you are ready, sitting back in your seat and getting comfortable. Closing your eyes if you wish and breathing naturally as you let your body rest fully into the chair. For this technique, we will slowly bring a mindful attention to various parts of our bodies, one at a time, noticing what sensations are present 
with an attitude of openness and curiosity. To begin, bringing your attention to the bottoms of your feet, perhaps feeling your socks or shoes in contact with the soles of your feet, acknowledging any sensations that are present at this time, warmth, coolness, tingling, wetness, whatever it may be. And if you don't feel much at all, that is completely fine. Just acknowledging that as your experience. And now noticing the toes, the spaces between the toes, the tops of your feet, the ankles, the ankle joints themselves, and moving up to the lower legs, the shins and the calf muscles, perhaps feeling your pants in contact with your skin. Tuning into any sensations that greet you at this time. Shifting your attention to your knees. Noticing the kneecaps and the bottom of the knees. And now, noticing your upper legs, perhaps feeling into the areas of your legs that are in contact with the chair. Exploring the big thigh muscles and hamstrings. Simply recognizing whatever is present at this time as we bring a close and curious attention to our upper legs. You may quickly realize that your mind has a life of its own and has already wandered off, planning, worrying, or daydreaming. Remind yourself that this is normal and okay. Each time you notice your mind wandering, then recognizing what is on your mind in that moment, and then gently letting it go. This does not mean you need to push other thoughts away or shut off your mind. Rather, we can do our best to just acknowledge other thoughts and emotions as they arise in an open, non-judgmental way, and then let them be, coming back to your body again and again. And now, bringing your attention to your belly. Feeling any movement of the breath in this area. Perhaps feeling your shirt in contact with your belly. And now moving to the lower back, opening to any sensations here, and experimenting with breathing into any sensations of tension or stiffness. Throughout this body scan, you can experiment with breathing, patience, and kindness directly into any areas of pain or discomfort in your body. Doing the best you can to bring an attitude of patience and kindness to areas of pain or discomfort, and seeing if you could just be with the pain and discomfort as best you can. And now shifting to the upper back, the shoulder blades, and up to your neck and shoulders. And now noticing your chest, feeling into any sensations and perhaps exploring whether you can feel your heartbeat at this time. 
Body sensations in our upper bodies are often signals or indicators of various emotions we may be feeling. So as you explore sensations in your upper body, you may become aware of various emotions, some pleasant or some unpleasant. And seeing if you could just acknowledge these emotions without pushing them away or pulling them towards you, just allowing and letting them be with you. And when you are ready, bringing your awareness slowly down your arms, noticing what position your arms are in and opening to any sensations. And now noticing your hands, your palms, your fingers, the spaces between the fingers, and letting go of your fingers now and redirecting your attention to the inside of your mouth. the top of the mouth, the bottom, your lips, the space between your lips, your jaw, cheekbones, your nostrils, left nostril, right nostril, your eyes, forehead, the top of your head, and now expanding your awareness and becoming aware of your entire body sitting here in the chair, sensing into your whole body and listening to whatever your body has to tell you at this time. As we bring this body scan to a close, taking a final moment to breathe awareness and compassion throughout your entire body. And so as this practice comes to a close, perhaps taking a moment to thank yourself or congratulate yourself for taking the time out of your day to nurture your mind and body in this mindful chair yoga practice. Remember that mindfulness practice is portable and you can bring mindfulness into your everyday life. No matter where you are or what you are doing, you can always pause for a moment and tune into your body and your breathing as a way to connect to the present moment. In fact, you can never leave behind your body and your breath. They are always with you. I hope you enjoyed this mindful chair yoga practice. Thank you.